Hello, welcome to today's edition of the 12 LIGO categories short video series on Project 30 Before 30 International. We are coming to you live from the studios of the Afghan Town Hall Online Television. My name is Francis Meribe. In today's edition, we will be dealing with episode four of the 12 LIGO categories uh, short video series um, titled The Emotional Life. The emotion has to do with feelings, sentiments, sensations, and passions. Life has to do with the existence, being, time, living, verb, vivacity, animation, energy, excitement, soul, sparkle, etc. Emotional life, therefore, has to do with how you feel about your existence, being, and being, the energy of your feelings, the sparkle and the excitement in your passions. It has to do with how lively you feel from time to time, and from day to day, and week to week, and from year to year. It deals with the dominant sentiments of your life, whether such are lively, exciting, or dull, inviting or repulsive, etc., etc. Uh, many of us do not know, but it is so critical that we decide ahead of times, seasons, and circumstances how and what should be our feelings about our lives ahead of those times, seasons, and circumstances. Yes, this is important. The reason is that if we fail to do that, we fall into the trap of being controlled by the circumstances which would swing our feelings and our lives according to the effect outside our own control. One of the best things we would do with our lives is to live a life within our own control. Because if you live outside your own control, then many things that you did not bargain for will come into your life and most of them can ruin it. Goal setting generally is prepared to help you keep control of your life. And that's what we are driving at here. To be able to be in control of our emotional life, we need to set goals of how and what we want to feel before and regardless of what the circumstances might be or becomes as we live our lives. There are key philosophical and action or goal point uh, questions to be asked of oneself while selecting goals on any aspect of the life goal categories, especially with your emotional life. Uh, the philosophical goal setting questions deals with what you believe or your belief system. Your beliefs about something inspire or demoralize your ability to pursue that course of action. Hence, your philosophy of a life goal category, especially the one of emotional life, is critical. The action, goal, action or goal point questions relate to questions that produce answers upon which goals to be acted upon are set. So first, the philosophical goals help you to establish what you believe that will guide you, or inspire you especially. And then the action side helps you to find the points of goals, the things, actions that you will take to achieve that goal. Now, the key philosophical questions to ask in and find answers about your, your emotional life when trying to set goals on your emotional life, they include, but they are not limited to this because you could be inspired to have other ones as soon as you start. Number one of the examples we have for you, are, what do I believe about emotional life? Remember we said you have to establish your belief system. What do you believe about emotional life? And then what do I want my in my emotional life? What do you want inside it? 
do you want it to be exciting or do you want it to be poor and demoralizing what do you want you need to say what you want because if you don't know what you want then nothing makes sense then why do i want that emotional life standard so first you dis discover your belief of emotional life and then you talk about the standard of it you want and then you say why you want that standard and then the final question on the philosophical philosophical side is what will i do to get the great emotional life that will serve me best in my life yes need to do this and then the answers to their book questions will help you to frame the questions or the action or the go point questions so what you get from the beliefs side will help you in the action side and then the key questions you can ask on the action or go point questions and find answers to them before you say goes on emotional life include but not limited to where would i like my energy and happiness levels to be on a scale of one to ten, one being poorest and ten being optimum. So there's one, two, three to ten. Where do you want your, what level do you want your emotional life to be? The feelings and the energy or happiness that you have day to day, where do you want it? You need to put that on paper. And then how would I like to feel throughout my day, including in the afternoon time when a lot of us are normally, when a lot of us normally feel slump on our energy levels, following the hard day's work or all resolved challenges. You know, your day brings many things. Some of them you didn't bargain for. Though you set goals, but many you can't set goals on everything because some things just happen. So when those things happen and disrupt your system or maybe you, a normal goal, you're working on your goal, but it's a lot of work and this affects your system the way you feel when you have no decision sometimes it can be terrible but if you can decide what you will feel ahead of time then you have control remember the sole purpose of this goal setting is to give us control in how our lives turns out to be okay so and then the next question is uh, uh, how do i control my mood throughout the day so those questions, you ask them. And, you know, no one can answer these questions for you. They are all yours to find out. And I promise you that if you ask them, you will find. Now, the reason it is important to set goal, uh, this goal in this goal category is that uh, it is only when we have in have an, advan an advanced decision on this critical element of life that we can control the vagaries that follow everyday living. And life's challenges. Yes, that's the only time. If you didn't set the goal, if you set the goal, you face challenges, but the goals will help you. Now, consider what will happen if you never set a goal and things start happening. Those you will see how your day will just fly away into trouble that you cannot control. So that is very important. So, and it is obvious that if we allow circumstances to control uh how we feel, we will feel bad 90% of our day and thereby attract negative thoughts, feelings, and situations as a result into our lives. Uh, this is our presentation today, and we hope you pay great attention, very critical attention to this important aspect of your life. Uh, thank you very much for viewing.